Hi everyone, good morning. Um, Dr. Beth Westy here, and in honor of my upcoming book, The Female Fat Solution, I am going to be talking about reducing stress. I have a huge chunk of my book um, just dedicated to stress, how it impacts people, how it affects you, what to do to decrease your stress, and also um, just little tips nutritionally that you can really help your body recover from stress as quickly and effectively as possible. So, one of the best things that I have gone through with people, and especially women, is to talk about a stress-free start to your day. This is really, really key because, uh, especially today, so it can be kind of stressful for people, whether or not you're going to the polls or voting or whatnot. Um, it, it can just be a stressful time and a stressful day for people. So start your day off right by really making sure your stress is in check. So the first thing here that I have uh, to reduce your stress is a deep breath. Now, this can be applied actually kind of all day long or anytime you're feeling under stress. When you're in traffic, if you're in a really tough meeting, if something's not going right and you're like, stress monster, you know, you, you know what I'm talking about too, right? Yeah. The deep breathing is a really big key to switch your nervous system response to calm down. So this isn't just like a, <gasps> that's not enough. This deep breathing is a special technique. And what you're going to do is take a really slow, deep breath in, count to five. Sorry, Spot's making noise. I don't know if you guys can hear that. He's trying to play. Come here, puppy. Come here, puppy. Come here. So excited. <laughs> okay, so animals also reduce stress. Animals are a great stress reliever. Deep breathing though. Breathe in slowly for five, and then you're going to hold it for a count of seven, and then breathe out for eight to ten. And then you want to do this for seconds, you know, but you can count, right? If you don't want to be like, <clears throat> looking at a watch, you know, the point of this is to help you relax. <laughs> so don't make it more stressful, but slow deep breath in for five. Hold it. For at least seven, hold in your breath for seven seconds, and then slowly, slowly let your breath out for eight to ten seconds. That's going to switch the response in your nervous system, forcing your body to calm down. And you will feel it. You will feel like your lungs expand and contract, and you will feel things just releasing your body. A lot of tension letting go. It has to do with your sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system and switching off that fight or flight response by just breathing. Fantastic. Spot, come here. Why is it that you just want to play right now? Okay. I, I know, I know. He's so excited. He's just so excited. It's an exciting day. Second thing here is to get some apple cider vinegar in the morning. And this is really, really important to help your, um, to help with your digestive system. It just turns on a lot of enzymes. Spot, fetch it up, fetch it up. Turns out a lot of digestive enzymes in, there's nothing to fetch up, <laughs> but he's looking now. It turns on a lot of digestive enzymes naturally in your body. Um, now you can drink this in like a little shot glass or just take a swig from the bottle. I do that every morning, or you can dilute it in some water and then follow that with some warm lemon water. So you're, so how I do it in the morning is just a little, you know, swig from the apple cider vinegar. Um, I use organic you know, natural form of apple cider vinegar really helps just get things moving. It'll wake you up too. Mm -hmm. It'll wake you up. And then follow that immediately with that warm lemon water. That's going to activate things. That's going to help balance the pH of your body. And it's really going to kick things off. Your immune system lives in your digestive tract. So it's really important if you're under stress and you want to keep your stress levels low, that you keep your immune system really, really strong. And a way to do that is to boost your digestive system. So it's fantastic. Third thing here, probiotic. There's a lot of different forms. Fetch it up. Fetch it up. <laughs> There's a lot of different forms of probiotics. There are um, beverages. There are powders. There are capsules. All these things. There's a lot of different types. And you want something that's a really high quality. And you want something that has more than a, just a couple of strains of probiotic in it. Of, um, of like that bacteria. And the reason is because you want more in there to really, really get things going. Um, so <clears throat> if you have questions, you can message me or, or let me know if you want me to dive into this more. But essentially some people are like, oh, well, I, I have a yogurt. That's got some probiotic in it. Mm, okay. But we want more. Again, we want to really protect 
your digestive system and we want more of that probiotic. Really, really boost the digestive um, uh, properties there. Fourth thing then that you would get it, so I do this like boom, 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 one right after another. Fourth thing to really focus on is adaptogens. So these are the herbs, they're Eastern medicine herbs that really help your body handle and process stress. So it literally mutes the stress response that happens in the body. It, it, the, when your body's under stress and your adrenals start pumping out cortisol, it just goes, it's like a floodgate and it goes everywhere. And it's not like, you can't like hold it in, you know, it's not like holding in a sneeze or something. It just happens. So how do you handle that? The best way is then to handle it on the other side of it and make sure your organs, your body system is prepared to help recover from that as quickly as possible. So these adaptogens help mute that response. It doesn't prevent the cortisol from being released. It just protects everything else so it doesn't have this really nasty impact on your body. Adaptogens, uh, one of my favorites is ashwagandha. Love ashwagandha. So many fantastic properties, and it's really boosting for a lot of your endocrine organs as well, thyroid, adrenals, things like that. Um, wolfberry is another one. Again, these sound like made up words. They're not made up. They're real things. You can look it up. It's a thing. Wolfberry is another one of my favorites um, for an adaptogen. So if you have questions on those, again, let me know. But I like to take actually a blend of adaptogens, covers my bases, and each adaptogen kind of focuses on a specific thing. So a blend really, again, you get all your bases covered right away. So I take this again on an empty stomach. So all these are done right away in the morning on an empty stomach. The deep breathing I do right away. Then apple cider vinegar I do within the first, you know, 10 minutes of being up. I want to kick my digestive system into gear and get it going. Uh, get my probiotic in, take my adaptogen. And then within, this is all within the first 30 minutes of waking up. Again, I have three kids. <laughs> So, well, I mean, it's, I'd like to be perfectly timed with this, but it doesn't always happen. But within the first 30 minutes here, and then after that, um, then I wait, you know, maybe another half an hour or so, and then I eat my first meal of the day. So within the first hour then, I'm getting in and flooding my body with a, tons of nutrients and everything else. So, um, so healthy fats and high protein breakfast is the last thing then. Again, this is about an hour after I've woken up and gone through these things, say by 30 minutes I've done this, and then this is done by an hour from waking up for me. <clears throat> healthy fat and high protein breakfast. Healthy fats, I get a tablespoon to two tablespoons of coconut oil. And my favorite, and then high protein, my favorite way to do this is with my coffee shake. So I've done, um, I've done a video on this before, and, um, and I have, you know, have a recipe and everything. I can post that after the video underneath so you guys can check that out. But it's really a fantastic way to start the day. And it's coffee. <laughs> so coffee, you know, I use protein powder. I use um, coconut oil for my healthy fats. You can use like clarified butter or other things too. Great. Um, I use a little bit of... Uh, sweetener in there as well and then I will oh hi Fatima hi um and then I also like to use a little bit of almond milk just to make it a little more foofy um and for protein protein powder that I add there you can have, use chocolate or vanilla or, or whatever you want lately I've been putting a little bit of peppermint oil in there oh it's so good because it makes it minty and fresh yummy um anyway <clears throat> so that's how I pack my day then with protein important thing about protein is that when your body's under stress it takes some of the protein that you're eating and turns it into sugar, not what you want. So by getting proteins in, getting healthy fats and proteins in, in the beginning of the day, you are really setting yourself up for success to have your body, you know, fight that cortisol and fight that cortisol response all day long. So starting your day like this sets your body up to really just combat the stress the rest of the day. Um, you started taking ashwagandha at my time. Yeah. Ashwagandha at bedtime is phenomenal. Um, it really helps to bring you down to some of these adaptogens. You know, taking them again at the end of the day, if you've had a very stressful day, helps you bring things down, get centered, um, and then relax enough so to have a really great night's sleep. So, yes, yeah, so hopefully this is really helpful starting your day off. Um, if you're not getting all of these things in the beginning of the day, again, don't worry about it, but it's something to kind of work towards. Work towards getting all of these things in in the beginning of the day, and you're going to be setting yourself up for success. Um, you've been following this, and Teresa says she's been following this, and have great difference. Yes, I know, right? I mean, it makes you're like this is a few steps, and once you get it, you know, once you get it down, 
it makes a big difference in your life. So to do this, because I will often forget or be distracted by little people running around or something, I will actually make sure in my pantry I have an entire shelf that's mine and all my stuff goes on it and I just start on one end. I've got my uh, apple cider vinegar, I've got my probiotic, I've got my adaptogens that I take and then I have all my stuff for my shake. So this is a, so I do it all in order and then I just kind of keep it there. There's no way that I'd remember to you know, grab it from the cupboard over here or over there. I have to have it in a specific spot for me to, to follow the protocol. Otherwise I forget or I get thrown off. And if I'm traveling and I don't have apple cider vinegar available or whatever, yes, I miss out on it and then I notice a difference. But most of the time, this is what I follow in the morning. <clears throat> yes, um, also, so also if you, if this has been helpful for you, and you notice a difference with this and you're thinking, yes, I want more of this. Um, and you have more questions on stress, how to combat stress. Again, I'm offering a phone call with me so you can click the link I will include after this video and you can schedule a time with me so that I can troubleshoot anything for you. We can dive deep into any issues that you're having and come up with a schedule that may be best for you depending on what you have going on. My, I'm so passionate about helping women and impacting people's lives in a healthy way. So if you're really serious about making these changes, just click this link and then we can connect and I can get you started on being healthy for the holidays, on making these fantastic changes and impacting your life for the better. So I hope everybody has a great, great, fantastic day. Um, follow some of these. If you have questions, let me know, but otherwise I will chat with you guys tomorrow.